ITDA is a global organization. It's an International Game Developers Association, and we have plenty of people all across uh, the globe in this organization, starting from Argentina to Canada, to Nigeria, to Europe, to Japan. It's an open, free organization for everybody to join. We organize more than 50 events per year in Finland, and this is the, one of the core reasons why the Finnish game industry is actually succeeding. People meet and greet and form new projects in these events. I just uh, heard from Kote, our business guy, that this event was held to, like today. Heard about it yesterday, and I was like, holy shit, do we have anything to show? Actually, I come to ITDA every time. I enjoy the atmosphere and meeting all the developers here and uh, all the support from all the people. It's amazing. Uh, I'm Samuel Jaskel and I'm a Finnish indie developer from Minefield Games, where I'm doing Poland. But what I'm doing here is uh, presenting my own Gear VR mobile virtual reality project, Cries of Harvest, where you fly as a dragon and embrace the embryos of your slayed brothers. I have hard time of putting this device off from people's head when they get really addicted to flying around. The game is called Power Hover, so and it's going to be released this week, so in a couple of days, as a premium game on iOS. So it's 3.99 euros, and yeah, let's see what happens. It's two more days, so really exciting times for us. We are making uh, 80s uh, themed games for mobile. And our first title, Retroshot, is coming out in about one month. So I hope everybody will enjoy it. It's a fantasy game. Uh, I don't want to compare it to Diablo, but we've got a lot of uh, inspiration from well-known uh, RPG games, idle games. Cookie Clicker was our uh, biggest influence on this, I guess. Finns are more introverted and not so social. Gaming draws them to their devices and uh, lets them interact through devices and through internet. And it's it's more uh, <laughs> more uh, more interesting and, and comfortable for way way for us to interact. <laughs> I had Commodore 64 when I was a kid. And I just got addicted to gaming. Like it was those times, you know. And I have never stopped. I guess I've always been a creative type. So. Ever since I was young, I've always been creating stuff. Started with Legos, whatever. Moved to 3D softwares, where endless possibilities. There are plenty of reasons why Finnish game industry actually is so thriving at this point. There's high-level free education. There are lots of uh, governmental-level uh, funding in this area. There are lots of uh, um, ICT industry professionals in Finland. And this industry is actually becoming more and more interesting for foreigners as well. So we, we can see more and more foreigners joining us in Finland for working in chemistry.